Good evening and thank you so much. It's a great, really a great honor for me to pre uh, present this award because it's my sincere heart belief that even artists need to breathe. It's an award that calls, it takes a little bit of time for that one, that one to sink in, I know I prepared it. <laughs> it is an award that calls for the whole film industry and all of us as individual artists to think about the circumstances that we work under and what we leave behind apart from the film. What have we created and what have we destroyed by creating? Can we see the bigger picture? The Academy is looking for people and organizations that have made sustainable thinking and acting part of their core. Sustainability is mostly about just allocation. We all know that there is enough food in this world, enough money in this world, enough opportunities in this world. But we do not allocate in a just way. And that is our problem. Thank you. And we do not even distribute and use and allocate in a logical way because destroying what you depend on logically never works, never will work. And that's where we are right now at this moment. So because it's a problem of allocation, I am very, very sincerely happy that the European Sustainability Award 2023 Pre for Climate is given to a woman tonight who is one of the most successful entrepreneurs in Europe. She is known worldwide since she holds numerous positions in a wide variety of contexts and has been using her influence to push for change in in many areas of life. She took over her family business, run solely by men before, of course, and implemented environmentally sustainable practices with VERV with the goal to make all of them carbon free in the foreseeable future, across the board of her many companies that she runs now. She understood early on that sustainability is holistic. She's a vocal activist for women's rights. She's truly outspoken when it comes to addressing inequality. Education has always been a top priority to her. She has built and founded many schools and one of the leading universities in Turkey. And she has been championing the arts for many decades. She's built museums, supported orchestras and sponsored archeology. span In 2016, her Sabanchi Foundation launched a short film competition under the slogan, short film, long impact. Raising awareness by highlighting particular social issues every year, she brought themes that concern all of us to a wider public by the transformative power of storytelling and cinema. She helps new artists grow and develop while spreading social discussion, bringing together people from all over the world. Engaging in debate, using the power of art, she pushes for a just and sustainable world. She is a true philanthropist. This award is different from all the others. Instead of a statue, the winner receives a tree that is planted in her honor in this city. We'll find a place for it in the city. We have a lot of trees, but this will be a special tree because uh, what we give tonight symbolically is a plague that will decorate the tree next March. So please. Give a massive applause to a fierce fighter for sustainability in the very sense of the word. Teşekkür ederim and sevgili oynayı the chair of the Sabanchi Holding and chair of the board of trustees of Sabanchi Foundation. Güler Sabanchi! Yes, distinguished members of the Academy, ladies and gentlemen, this is something different for me. 
I have been, I had awards, I have had received things in my life, but this is, of course, very, very special, and I like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to the European Academy on bestowing me this award. But of course, I received this award on behalf of the Sabanji Foundation. I am a philanthropist, yes. <laughs> so it is different to be here in the heart of the film industry. Uh, we are a private philanthropic foundation, about 50 years old, with a history of 50 years, supporting uh, social development, social change, culture, education in Turkey. We wanted, we wanted to harness the power of film, which you all know, the power of film, and then we wanted, we, sh uh, we championed our own short film competition. To encourage the uh, young and to inspire the young filmmakers in Tur Turkey, to address social issues, including climate change and sustainability, we think, of course, that the film cinema is the most powerful way of really creating awareness that we all know. Short film, long impact was the motto of our film uh, competition, and it's now the eighth year. I don't need to emphasize to this audience how much effort went into realizing and achieving, as we were talking, to a credible, credible short film competition. And I know this audience knows it very well. What does it mean to be credible in an industry, which is today, tonight, we are living through it. So I want to thank, of course, the project curator, uh, Zeynep Atakan, and Sabanja Foundation's general manager, Nevgül Safkan, and their respective teams for achieving this credible short film competition. And I want to thank them especially for their hard and dedicated work. Climate urgency, increasing inequalities, increasing poverty. Our world is going through multiple disasters at, as it has been addressed in the opening. On top of now, unacceptable. Human-made wars, increasing human tragedies every day. To overcome these, crisis, we all know collaboration, cooperation among public, private, philanthropy, and civil society is more than essential. As we are getting ready for a new year, we only have a few weeks, I yearn for peace. I yearn for peace. I wish the new year brings peace to the world.